orange needs to be mm. sliced. Oh, excuse me. Resist. Fiends are looking at the orange needs to be sliced. Hashtag resist. Yeah. Because we were just looking at um, the fuck is this guy's name? Angelo Caruzone. Yeah. Some media matters clown. We might get into this guy. We 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 might fuck with this guy this week. Angelo Caruzone, uh, talking about why uh he he has come up with this theory and i'm not going to call it a conspiracy theory because conspiracy um theory yeah, um it says that they're doing something illegal but he has a theory that democrats that are running going on fox news to make their case to a wider audience are just helping fox news earn more advertiser dollars and that's why they shouldn't do it all right mm -hmm. these are the facts right and then we just started looking at these these people like a top comment <laughs> under the twitter thread was um their, it's it's their name fuck their comment their name is resist for humanity hashtag she won and it's like you people are parodies of yourselves mm -hmm. and cis identity extremists are parodies of well fuck normal cis people really normal cis people are a little weird in yes. general yeah the, when somebody says are the cis heads okay the answer is not really no 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 and that's why no one else can be mm. um i actually have two two and one two cis identity extremists you want to do both of them or do you want to pick one yeah no you have to do both because it's to. a binary you have to do the man and the wall man they're both men they're both couple of fellers yes that's all right you know what a couple of fellers that love each other very much can also be cis identity extremists. I think they're capable of it. I don't think they know each other. I don't. I, I would not doubt them. Because one is Massachusetts and one is Florida. All right. All right. Them hurricane winds can <clears throat> reach. You just wait. <laughs> yeah, climate change. Can't wait to see what's going to happen then. Uh, a Massachusetts yeah. firefighter. This sentence is oddly constructed, so I'm going to change it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you, because there's no punctuation. You don't need it. Do you want me to read it as is? Because it's a goofy sentence. It says people don't need to punctuate. Okay, punky, wait. Um, oh. A Massachusetts firefighter police say walked nude into a Rhode Island convenience store because he thought it was legal has been placed on leave. There is not an ounce of punctuation anywhere in that fucking sentence and like three different things happened. Because he thought it was legal. And then what? A, Mass a Massachusetts firefighter, police say, walked nude into a Rhode Island convenience store because he thought it was legal, has been placed on leave. He thought it was legal? Yes. He just... Has he been thinking that his whole life? <laughs> but it was just like, you know, now's not the time. <clears throat> like, has he been thinking that since he was... Uh, maybe earlier he thought, you know, I'm underage... You can't be nude at this time. It's wrong. If someone snaps a picture, it's child porn. It's bad. But after you're 18, you're like, hey, I mean, anything he's goes. 60. He's 60. He's 60. So he thought this was legal for a long time. <laughs> Allegedly. 60 ain't young. How many years ago is 60? What, 30 years ago is 1989? So you slap 30 more years down, that's 1959. That's one year younger than my biological mother. Martin Luther King was still alive. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> so All like, right. oh yeah, yeah, yeah gun it in, man, <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it, cis like, identity extreme. I love when William like gives up on the story in the first sentence. <laughs> <laughs> like, like we didn't even get to the second paragraph yet. Because he thought it was legal. <laughs> He's 60. And Massachusetts is not exactly the fucking backwoods. It is not. He is near a book. <laughs> and I don't mean God, guns, grits, and gravy. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right. And he works in conjunction with police. Yeah. He has to have seen an officer arrest a naked person for being naked. Or did he just happen to miss every one of those cases for all his years as a firefighter man? Police responded to a 7-Eleven on Aquatic Neck? Aquatic Neck? Aqua uh, what the fuck? Aqua Boogie. Aquidnik. Aquidnik. Aquidnik? Aquidnik? I'm not reading it. <laughs> neither, ni neither am I, obviously. Uh -huh. um, so police responded to a 7-Eleven call on somewhere that I can't fucking pronounce in Middletown around 3 p.m. on April 3rd for a report of a naked customer. 
The owner said the man with a, quote, smile on his face <laughs> purchased a Diet Coke and left in a car. What the fuck? What? You mad because he can afford Diet Coke and you can't? If you manual laborers would work as hard as the owners, you wouldn't be so poor now, would you? The owner said she went into shock and called 911 because she thought the man might assault her, according to the police report. The Logic. owner gave police a license plate number and the and the car with two fully clothed occupants inside was pulled over a short time later. Oh, so he wouldn't put the clothes back on? No, 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 no. No? There were oh, other wait. people wearing clothes? Hold on. You know what? It doesn't say if he was one of the clothed people or not. It just says there were two fully clothed occupants inside. Uh -huh. Uh The passenger said she, quote, dared her boyfriend to go into the store because he said it was legal in Rhode Island? Rhode Island. Okay, so in Dan Badandi land. I don't think that's legal in Rhode Island either. But wait, so she... You 60 and you taking dares? <laughs> like, there's so much happening here. Um... Hold on. Yeah, figure it out. So he said it's legal in Rhode Island. And she said, well, we're in Massachusetts. Let's try it here. I dare you. And his goofy ass did it. Okay, so he didn't think it was legal. That's just fucking, that's just his fucking white cis male brain firing off sparks <laughs> at the idea that he was actually getting arrested for some shit. John Walsh of Linfield was charged with disorderly conduct. Uh, Linfield Fire Chief Glenn Davis tells the Daily Item that the 60-year-old Walsh, who is a 40-year veteran and fire captain... Wait, only disorderly conduct? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the word lewd should be somewhere in there. He's white and has been a firefighter for 40 years. So he was just disorderfied? Yes. So he's not even in jail? No. He's out plotting his next dare. Yeah. Or truth. I don't know. I guess he's living his truth, as some might say. Uh, he has been placed on administrative leave, paid administrative leave. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, the Linfield Fire Department is aware of the charges pending against Captain John Walsh. Davis said in a statement to NBC10 Boston, we take the charges <clears throat> against Captain Walsh very seriously. No, no you, you don't. don't. <laughs> They're fucking laughing it up and having a fucking Modelo, which is a cerveza, which is a beer. Yeah, he's just some old white guy who, all right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, he actually looks, I don't know. Does he look older than 60? I don't even, I, it's not like I'm holding it. The, uh, there, I held the deal up to the deal. This fucking guy. And why is he someone's boyfriend? Uh, you know what? That's me acting like a conservative. You, everyone <laughs> doesn't have to get legally married. Mm -hmm. But it does, you know what? The fact that he is taking dares like that adds a lack of maturity to it that makes him being someone's boyfriend make him look even more tacky and immature. Yeah. Just an old ass fucking child. Yeah. Well, I never had to be an adult before. No. And then and then you know what? As soon as he got in trouble, he just made just I didn't know I couldn't do that. Which holy shit is a Dave Chappelle punchline. <laughs> And he said that he was hanging with a white dude that used that as an excuse and the cop walked away. Yeah. So maybe that's something white people really do. They just, like, that's just a, a Hail Mary you toss up. Maybe maybe they don't care if I say I didn't know it was illegal. <sighs> Meanwhile. No. No, 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 no. In Florida. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No. Uh, wearing a baseball cap, gloves, and it seems nothing else. Oh, shit, man. Come on. A Florida man burglarized a Little League concession stand in, uh, what the fuck? Doondin? A Little League concession stand? <laughs> yes. On some level. Uh -huh. it, I think that this was a plot he had going for a while. Because it seems logical, right? Because was no one there? No one was there. No one was there at the time, and you know that there's snacks? Yeah. Popcorn, if you're into that. Yeah. I hate it. I hate the smell. I hate popcorn. Um, uh, What? Soda pops? Yeah. Cash, maybe. Yeah. Maybe someone may have left behind the cash box. Mm -hmm. It's logical. I don't understand the execution. Let's make sense of it. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. Baseball cap, gloves, and nothing else. Uh -huh, all right. 
Uh, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office is now asking for help identifying the man who the Greater Dunedin Little League President Susan Semite Colos? A Semite? It's literally, it's Semit Colos? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the fuck you're supposed to Semit Colos. I don't know the fuck you're supposed to say that shit. Oh, <laughs> man. Semiti. <laughs> Semiti Colos. I don't know why I had to do that so Mexican. That was, that was racist. That's the right way. I don't think that's right. Uh, she said he caused about $5,000 in damages. According to the sheriff's office, the man broke into a concession stand at Fisher Field uh, around 4 a.m. What level of class privilege are these kids functioning at that they have a $5,000 concession stand? Well. $5,000? <laughs> well. So he broke into the concession stand around 4 a.m. Surveillance footage provided to Tampa Bay Times uh, by this person whose name we cannot pronounce shows the man appearing to be naked rummaging through the stand. Uh, he stole cash donations to volunteers, a cash box containing $250, uh, and three surveillance cameras. What the fuck? Oh, that's why it was that much money. Uh, I mean, no, but that's damages. Is theft part of damages? I don't think that's what they're counting. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Um, the man gained entry by prying a door with a crowbar and breaking through a gate, but not before he broke the lock on a gate covering a sliding glass window, which he unsuccessfully tried to climb through. Before he left. Yeah. He also took a package of hot dogs. There you go. Now you need the groceries. That's responsible. The Little League is home to about 300 kids and hosts eight baseball and softball games a night for most of the week. The field is also shared with the local high school. The stand was closed that Sunday, but was able to reopen a few days later. The robbery was a shock to members of the organization. It's just disturbing that they would take from kids. The older kids have questions and can't understand how someone could do something like that. Oh, you class privileged fuck. You take from the poor kids. <laughs> fuck you. Those fuck that you. <laughs> <laughs> Though a setback, the response from the community has been encouraging. We're getting a lot of outpour from businesses and local individuals. It's enlightening. It's encouraging. It's great. These kids are important to our community. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck you. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm siding with this one. You're, the naked guy stealing hot dogs out of the concession stand? That's right. I, my, own, I, my beef with him is you should have bought a dolly because obviously there was a refrigerator. And just load all the shit you need into the refrigerator, lean it on the dolly, and smooth walk the fuck out. Naked. It'll be fun because you said they're looking for um, identification. Yeah. Wouldn't it be some somebody recognizes them from a Pornhub video they they, they added awesome. to their favorites? That would be awesome. Like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> this is Jim Bone Jones, fifty nine. <laughs> <laughs> and then like fuck it. So if they so what if like they have them at the fucking lineup to recognize them uh -huh. and they're like, wait, can we get a fluffer in here? <laughs> I, oh, it no. looks familiar, but not yet. Not yet. I need to see. <laughs> I need to see full arousal. Matter of fact, does anyone have any clippers? We're going to shave them down. This, I think we're almost there. <laughs> and gloves. I think fuck the gloves were baseball bits. <gasps> Fucking cis identity extremists. My people. My people. I, I need to be the, I need to be elected king of the cis people. I'll, I'll, I'll fix the community. <laughs> Emperor William, huh? Emperor of the cis. Emperor of the cis. Yeah. The Sisperer. The Sisperer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm That, yeah. Okay, we're on to something. Okay, so folks, <laughs> you, if you want me to be Emperor of the Sis, we need to fund the campaign. <laughs> PayPal. That's a fucking joke. Anyway, really, we need wine cellar shit. PayPal.me slash Phoenix and William. Patreon.com slash wine cellar media fund. And um, the link to the uh, Amazon wish list where we have things on there. Especially like those little things, like those um those XLR um, three prong hookups, those can be very useful, viable, and um and that webcam, you know the stuff, you know you folks have been holding the wine cellar down for a fucking while, you know the deal. Thank you. And um and then there's also a link to uh to the iTunes where you can um rate review. If you don't have time for the review, you click the five stars, and you go back to your quesadilla, mm -hmm. right? Or your uh, spaghetti. I know a lot of you like spaghetti out there. I like it too. I might make some one day. All right? And please be as safe as possible wherever the fuck you are.